Hi, I'm Zachary Taylor. I'm technical director here at RWDI. And today we're going to talk about why and how we test bridges in the wind tunnel. So we're here in our wind tunnel standing in front of a typical bridge section. And what we're looking at here is the deck of a bridge. And the deck of a bridge is, is the most susceptible to aerodynamic instability. And so what we model is the deck and all the important features on it. So that may include traffic barriers and fences and the details of the edge girders. And our model shop does an exceptional job, a painstaking job of replicating all of these details. And we build the models in such a way that we can swap things out. So if a certain barrier is not performing aerodynamically, we can work with the design team to swap in a different barrier that may show in the wind tunnel that it performs much better. And with our recent advances, both in the model shop and in the wind tunnel equipment, what we're seeing is we're able to really collaborate with our clients and designers directly and almost in real time. So we can say based on our experience, we think this fence or this type of barrier may help to improve the aerodynamic performance. And so within a couple of hours, three or four hours, we're able to get you an answer on does the bridge perform and we can converge on a solution that works for everybody quickly. And so in this process, we're really able to answer your question of is my bridge stable? We can get there and we can get there quickly.